This creative world is entertainment. What did you find out, Dr. Chung? Please, Dr. Chung is my father. Call me Dr. Elizabeth Chung. <laughs> I have your results right here, and I have some intriguing news. What's so intriguing? Oh, sorry, it's my husband. Hi, honey. Just make sure it's two ply and ultra plush. <laughs> Just look for the kind with the cartoon bears. <clears throat> now, you were about to tell us something intriguing. Well, Stephanie, you have a few viable eggs. Heck yeah, she does! So as an Asian American female artist in the industry, have you faced any challenges within the Hollywood <sighs> entertainment industry and how did you overcome those challenges? When I first started um, acting mm. in America, there was like, there was roles like concubine mm. and martial artist. Oh, yeah. It's very reserved. Yeah, too. and I, I don't like getting punched in the face. So <laughs> I, you know, um, but I did have a, I, I got my break in America mm. opposite, um, opposite um, Viggo Mortensen in a movie mm. called American Yakuza with a, a Yo Ishibashi, Ishibashi mm. Yo, it's a movie that he was in. Mm -hmm. After that movie, mm -hmm. you know, I thought there was going to be more stuff, mm -hmm. but you know, I was the lead, you know, but. <laughs> Um, there wasn't people writing those kind of, that many stories about it, and the mm -hmm. casting director told me, "You'll, you're not going to be a lead because you're Asian." Wow. And now it's different because I mean we have Michelle Yeoh winning all kinds mm -hmm. of awards now, but they uh, want you now. Well, but I had to. I couldn't give up, you know? Mm -hmm. And just because somebody doesn't want you doesn't mean you give up. You have to find a way, whether it be learn stand-up comedy or mm -hmm. do improv or, you know, find, write your own stories or make do- Make opportunities for Make yourself. your, you have to, you have to create your own content, mm -hmm. I feel like, especially now because there's no excuse not to make your own content. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, and people are wanting more female diversity and mm -hmm. just diversity in general. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, one of my favorite shows is Rami. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a Hulu show about um, a Muslim kid trying mm -hmm. to live in America and find his identity in America while still having his religious backgrounds. Mm -hmm. It's a great show. And it really made me understand, oh, we're all the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We all have these fights with these parents and we all are mm -hmm. awkward falling in love and mm -hmm. you know and um we're all insecure mm -hmm. you know so um i guess if there's any takeaway from today or the interview is is create create content create and mm -hmm. um be bold mm -hmm. in doing so because you have to teach people mm -hmm. you have to teach people how to love you <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Very true. So um, I'm also an actress and I have a lot of questions about acting. Yes. And um, so it, the actor job is not like a, always like 9 to 5 p.m. job. You know, I, I mean like the TV show is like sometimes this, but like we have to adjust ourselves to, you know, switch character to another character, like one project to another mm -hmm. project, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, is there like a sense of loss? like? Worry like a sense of worry after one project, like until you get another job, or mm -hmm. sometimes you know you feel lost after like really big job. I had to. Well, that's a multi-layer question <laughs> because there is a thing called uh, like when you go on location mm -hmm. and you film something for three months. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come home and and they get depressed. Right, yeah. and because they, it's kind of, what do they call that? It's like a, when you when you come back from the honeymoon, like the wedding's over, the honeymoon is over, right. and people get mm -hmm. depressed. It's like that, but I have found that I have had to restructure my mind um, and not, to, I had to learn, and it took me a long time to learn a lot of therapy, a lot of tears, a lot of wine. Um, <laughs> um, 
But I had to learn that to find joy in the process as mm -hmm. opposed to, because I learned like, like one time I was watching Criminal Minds on TV and I said, when I'm on Criminal Minds, that means I made it, mm -hmm. right? I went on Criminal Minds mm -hmm. and I did a guest star on Criminal Minds and afterwards I was like, oh, I don't feel, it's the next one, it's the mm -hmm. next one, it's the next, it's the next that I want, 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 because the ego mm -hmm. is always gonna want something <laughs> outside, right? Mm -hmm. But I had to learn to fall in love with creating the character and mm -hmm. auditioning like um, and 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 it took me a long time to let go of the results because mm. I would get so I'm like this job's gonna change my life I want this job and you don't get it and you're just like <laughs> you know <laughs> you want to kill yourself but you have to learn to love your the process mm. and and every rejection is making you more polished as a diamond for the next one, mm. I feel. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. I used to get so sad and attached to it. I'm like, I want that one, I want that one. Why did they pick that person? You know, I want this mm -hmm. one. But I started enjoying the process and cre having a balanced life, mm, right? Yeah. Like Viggo Morton said, he doesn't speak much, but when I, he, it was one time we were after we were filming American Yakuza and he gave mm. me, he said one thing to me. Mm. Don't make acting everything. Mm. And I was like, what do you mean? Acting <laughs> is everything. But it was like, you know, 20 years later, I'm mm -hmm. going, oh. He said, you, you live life, have a balance, <laughs> yeah, you know? Uh -huh. Go on vacation, mm. you know? Do fun things, mm -hmm. like have a balance in your life because yeah. So you mean like, did you learn how to forget acting job while you were on the vacation? Like, can you like forget all about acting? I mean, no, because I, I understand your question. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> forget. You, I learned to, um, you know, you never forget because everything you do, mm -hmm. every new experience makes you a better actor. Mm -hmm. Right? So whatever, falling in love or getting your heart broken or, you know, whatever, like all the things of life makes you a better actor. Mm -hmm. So experience everything, mm -hmm. you know? But um, it's learning to be present, right? Mm -hmm. It's learning to be present and, and, um, and being able to like take those experiences, you know? I use a lot of the same experiences when I'm like if I have to have like a crying scene, mm -hmm. I put my sister's picture there, right? Because mm -hmm. I think of her, I, I'll, I'll cry, you mm -hmm. know? But, um, so it's, and I'm glad that I have had heart, hurtful experiences because mm -hmm. I can pull from that when I need to, mm -hmm. you know, for certain characters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But enjoy the process because that's where you're gonna spend most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. Is we can't if we keep thinking if we keep thinking about getting that thing over there we're going to be miserable every day of our mm. life every day and i was miserable for a very long time mm. i was yeah and how do you kind of kind of like separate your private and public life mm. and kind of you know give yourself a break as you said you know i'm i think the sexiest thing about brad pitt well, one of the sexiest things about Brad Pitt is that he's a mystery. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he keeps his private, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He might be flying on a private jet to Bahamas, but he's not <laughs> posting, you know what I mean? Like there's, yeah. he's an actor because it's still a mystery. Mm -hmm. Whereas opposed to like where you follow people and you, you see everything they eat, mm -hmm. you see every workout, and you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Like, leave some mysteries. Mm -hmm. I think it's important uh -huh. to create mystery, you know? Right. And, um, I mean, yes, social media is a necessary situation, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but um, finding that balance of, you know, having real human mm -hmm. contact mm -hmm. and, um, I mean, you're probably too young, but mm -hmm. I mean, I used to be a kid and we didn't have cell phones mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. nobody could find you mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean 
and that there was some kind of joy and freedom in that. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. Do you have any actors or actresses like you've been admiring? Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I love actors and actresses that surprise me. Mm. Like, um, who's a, who's. Well, I'm madly in love with Jennifer Coolidge right now mm. because I can't, I'm obsessed with her right now. Mm. I can't get enough of her. She's so unique and she's, she's been through it all, right? Mm. She's been through the roller coaster and, and, um, but I like actors who, like, uh, Murray Bartlett. I don't know if you've watched. Did you see White Lotus the first season, or did you see Chippendales on Hulu? Mm, Chippendales, I know. You yes. saw the yes. <laughs> not the yeah. that there's TV show on Hulu. Mm -hmm. So Murray Bartlett, he's an amazingly fantastic. He he's a chameleon. Mm -hmm. Every character is different, mm -hmm. you know. And I love that about actors. Mm. You cuz you know there's certain actors like I know how they're going to do their hair, I know how they're going to do everything. <laughs> I, I know how that you know. Mm -hmm. But I like actors like where have I seen that? Where have I seen mm -hmm. that person before, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the the great writing right now is on TV. Mm -hmm. I think the best writing for women is on TV. Yeah. I, I think every actor should watch at least 3 episodes of every single TV show that's mm -hmm. out there. Because there's so many different kinds of tone, mm. you know. Sometimes when you're on a, on a movie set, the, a lot of directors don't know how to direct actors, but sometimes they, they'll be like, you know, like that actor in that TV show. You have to know what it is, um, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what he meant. Mm. Single camera, but dry. Because mm. I think there's four different kinds of comedy. You know, there's broad, there's multi-camera, mm -hmm. and then there's regular single camera comedy. And then there's dry, American, sarcastic, The Office <laughs> kind of comedy. Which they don't have in, in Japan. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't. No, I mean, in Japan, it's comedy is comedy, <laughs> right? But in America, there's many different levels of tones of comedy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had to under, understand that over the, right. the last 10 years, because it's changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like kind of going back to how you said you separate your private and public life. Let's say you're having a bad day at work or a bad day at school or anything. How do you kind of forget about all those emotions that you're going through and then just go on camera, you're ready, you're happy, you need to be a happy character and then you're just present because you both said like you're present in both moments, right? It's happening to you at the same time. Like how do you just kind of differentiate that feeling? Tequila. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, cry it out. Um, med I meditate a lot. Mm. I meditate a lot. But uh, you use it. Mm. You use it. I mean, comedy is truth and pain. Mm. That's what makes it so funny. Is because if people, you know, and that's why some of our best dramatic actors are comedians. Mm. You know. Because they, they're not afraid to go there, mm -hmm. right? But I know that wasn't the complete answer to your question. <laughs> and how do you separate, you know? But like it goes back to balance, mm -hmm. right? And um, meditation has helped me a lot more mm -hmm. than tequila. For <laughs> sure, <laughs> more than tequila. Yes, definitely. This episode will be available on YouTube this coming Saturday. For details, please check out our Facebook page. Next, more exciting materials to show you all. ありつづけたい。白木区のさぬきやうどん。ま、一度ダメだったとしてもチャンスはまたあるんで。
ち続けてなんか頑張ってほしいなというふうに思いますね。Next, let's jam with Yoyoka! Hello, this is Yoyoka. Here is my video. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. See you next time. Next, Godzilla Alert. Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever, and we are Luminous News on YouTube. Yes, and we're here to review the new Gamera minifigures from Easy Hobby. And here's a box. The Eggmon series Gamera of Collection Volume 1. Yay. First up, yes, we got the 1996 Gamera, a fan favorite. Very cute little Gamera here. And、uh, he has a yellow,、uh, like a brownish yellow base.、Yeah. I love the olive green color on the shell. And、uh, it's a great little representation of、uh, Gamera 1996. Yeah, these are part of the Eggmon series of、uh, figures. So which, is, which, which are these here? These are the. This is Gamera 1999 from the Gamera 3 movie, Revenge of Iris. So the one on the right with some extra blood on him is a、uh, chase figure. Yeah, that's the one on the left. With、yep. the extra, yeah, green blood. Yeah, green, the green blood. blood is the chase figure, so harder to、and、get that one. Yeah, same with the 1995 Gamera. There's also a chase version and a standard version. Ooh, and yeah, and here, and here again.、Yeah. Here's the standard, I think, on the right and the chase on the left. Which one's、yes. this? 2006 Advent Gamera from Gamera the Brave. So、Yay. he first appears in the,、uh, in the movie.、Uh, it's kind of like the, the pup of Gamera. So really、oh, yeah. cool. I really love the colors, especially on the chase figure.、Um, I don't think we've ever seen any、um, Advent Gameras in that、um, kind of like, I don't know what you call it, like the burning, burning version.、Uh, but it's really cool. And I really like the details and the paintwork. Oh, yeah. Here's one of the villains. Yes, Super Gauss from the 1995 film Gamera Guardian of the Universe. So,、uh, he's, Gauss is really nicely represented in this chibi form. A lot of very bright red in the eyes, claws, and the tips of the wings. Yeah, and here's a green villain. Yes, a Showa villain, Guiron from the 1969 movie Gamera. Versus g u i r o n So、uh, it looks,、uh, this is where the Pacific Rim Monster Knife Head got、uh, inspiration from. Oh, very cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and these are very, very cool. So the one on the left is the Chase, the one on the right、yep. is the Standard. Which, which villain、yes. is this? This is Viras from the 1968 film Gamera versus Viras. 
And uh, the, 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 one, the Chase figure is really beautiful, but both are really good. I think the Chase one just has that neochrome color, which makes it extra special. Yeah, so all together there's seven standards and four Chase. These come in blind boxes. But yeah, the Eggmon series of uh, figures from Easy Hobby have just always been outstanding. And uh, yeah, the quality, the quality of the sculpture, sculptures and the materials is uh, really, really stand out. And same with the paintwork, just outstanding. And I'm really happy to see more. Yes, indeed. This is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hope you enjoy the Eggmon Gamma series. We hope you enjoyed the show. We will continue to introduce successful people from various fields as well as supporting young up and coming talents who are passionate and dedicated to advancing their careers in their industries. Don't forget to tune in. Until then, you have a wonderful week. See you next time. Let's see who our guest is on the next episode. Hi, I'm Joseph from Libera. Thank you for tuning in to Creative Worlds. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Please subscribe to our YouTube thumbnail. Also, please check out our social media sites at CWTV Hollywood. Tradition is tasted, resplendent with grain. Sips of time slip through light. I'd hold this taste to feel forever. It pours a century of wisdom. It poured generation of legacy, sourced from a sacred mountain. It rises. How many ways can this taste dazzle in days? This taste lives forever. Chance to take some out of the moon of the Hontaniano, Jibunga Omota to Guinea, Nanika Kodo, Surutu, Kotoka, Jiban Daisa to Mono de, so you Jibunu Shinkan taking a Kimochi, Mita and Amono, Nankako, Motte de Hoshi. much for coming today and nice to meet you for everyone who is live streaming right now I am Natalie Emmons your host for today the title of the show is wish as in reaching for your dreams wish and today the program is going to fly by so please enjoy every spectacular moment
まあ一度ダメだったとしてもチャンスはまたあるんで、うん、若ければ若いほど、うん、そういう意味では夢をこう持ち続けてなんか頑張ってほしいなというふうに思いますね。